guys, it's Sarah and today we are going to go ahead and get started on adding embellishments to my page kits and then we can finally start making the layouts. I'm very excited to continue this process here and I know it's taking some time but it does take time to build these page kits. They don't come together very quickly. <laughs> so it's a, it's a bit of a process but I'm going to start today by adding some embellishments. Now I have gone through my stash and I've pulled some things out that I think I can definitely try to work my way through some of these things. I have some things that could definitely maybe um, get used up. Like I only have a few arrows left on here. Uh, just, I really just went through my stash and said, okay, I think I can use some of these things up or just use some of these things in general. You know, even if I don't use them up, I can just use them. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to show you really quick, like I just have some little bits and pieces here. Um, I have my enamel dots definitely, because I'll add enam enamel dots to probably every page. Just some things that I think will go nicely with my stuff um, that I plan on with the pages that I plan on doing. So um, I'm not going to go through every single piece obviously, but I do just have some little bits and pieces here. I have all of my die cuts over on this side that I will definitely be pulling those colors for sure. And then I also have over here to the side, I have my wood veneer out. I do want to probably try to pull some wood veneer. These are all shapes, shapes and designs and stuff. So I'm thinking I'll pull some of those. And then I also have all of these sticker books that I have been <laughs> buying lately because they are amazing. These are huge sticker books. There are so many sticker sheets in here that um you know like this one totals 1384 so there's over a thousand stickers in here and they're amazing and you can use them on so many different things so i can just find like the right colors that i'm looking for or the right themes that i'm looking for and so i think the sticker book is going to definitely come in handy uh, which means i need to probably grab um my sticker residue uh, remover, so I'll do that. And then I also have my um, washi tape bins over here. I have two different ones. I have one for rainbow colors, which is this one, then I have one for like pink, black, white, gold, you know, stuff like that. Um, so I will definitely be pulling some washi tape samples too. And anytime I have a washi tape that I really wanna use, I'll just take a little piece off and stick it on my little post-it that I have in my uh, page kits so that way I don't pull the whole thing but when I pull out that page kit I'll see oh yeah I wanted to use this washi so I'll go and grab that washi tape at that time that way I don't lose track of any of my washi tapes but that is going to be the plan for today now I am going to do I think the first two videos I'm going to do five layouts each and then the second two videos I will do six layouts because I do have 22 layouts to go through. So um, I'm going to break it up a little bit and have it be like that. That way um, they're not too long and I am going to speed them up and do voiceovers. So these are not going to be live because the embellishment part does take forever. I'm going through a lot of things and I'm going through a lot of the same things. So um yeah, doing it live would take a very, very long time. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. But we are gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do five, five layouts here today and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first one I have here is of a graveyard, um, a, like a wartime graveyard. So I do have these three cameras here and these were sent to me by one of my subscribers from Carrie. Thank you, Carrie, so much. Um, she had watched my uh, one of my other videos and I mentioned that I was going to look for some kind of old timey cameras or like you know vintage cameras almost to try to put on here and she said that she had some that she had already fussy cut out and wanted to send them to me if I was willing to um, receive them and I said absolutely so she sent me those so thank you Carrie I really appreciate it and as soon as I got them I put them right into that um, ziploc so I wouldn't forget <laughs> that they were there uh, so as you can see, I'm kind of going through and pulling a few things. I'm focusing obviously on the greens and the blacks here. And um, I am pulling enamel dots for almost every single layout, I believe. And I have like a label and just a couple of little black things that I can use here. Um, I do really like this arrow that has almost like a vintage print on it, but I don't want the brad. So I just pulled the arrow only and I'm going to put the brad back from that little brad packet there. And um, these are just some things that I have that I've had for a while that I'm, you know, just kind of trying to see if I can use up as much as possible. So 
um, what do I pull from there? Oh, I have a couple of uh, like plus signs or X's, either one I could use. So I'm gonna pull those off that chipboard sheet and I'm just pulling off the sticky part on the back. I'm just pulling off that layer so I don't have to worry about it sticking onto anything. And I'm gonna go through some of my die cuts. So I'm gonna go through um, a bunch of these here throughout these videos because I have a lot of die cuts as you can see. So I'm just gonna see what I can use based on the colors. Um, I am gonna pull a little frame here for uh, journaling and I'm obviously in my black uh, color here just to see what I can use. Um, I think I pull that, yeah, it says on my heart, so I'm gonna pull that out. And then I did find this in my washi tape bin. Um, this is like a, a film roll almost. It's not a washi tape, but um, it's something I'd probably have to staple down because it's transparent, but I thought it was kind of cool and I could definitely use that for a layer. So I'm gonna pull just a strip of that out. And that will be it for this one. And then for the next one, I have um, my opening page for the album. So this is the one that is gonna document, you know, kind of the opening and explain what the album is and all that good stuff. So I do have a lot already pulled because I'm gonna do kind of some layers um, and I want them to go together really well. But I did pull a couple of wood veneer um, stars that I'm gonna to use to uh, put like on a map on where we are. I'm gonna pull some potty people out. Um, one that has two girls and one that has a boy and a girl um, because you know for Savannah it was me and Lindsay and then for Boston it was me and my husband so um, I like that and I'm going to pull a couple of these tags here that I can just use to label and then I also have a wood veneer that has a you are here with a geo tag so I thought that was kind of cool and then I'm going to pull um, some enamel dots here Um, since I already had a lot on here, I didn't want to add any other die cuts. <laughs> so um, I had a, I used a lot of pattern paper to kind of build some layers there. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. Okay, here is um, a Hamilton page. So I do have a few die cuts, as you can see already, that I pulled from pattern papers and stuff. So um, I am going to pull this little piece um, here that says Dreams. And I think I'm gonna make my title dreams come true. So I pulled that with some stars and I'm gonna just keep that there. I just moved everything down and cut off that whole piece. And then I think I'm gonna write down, um, I'm gonna pull some other alphabets that like some tiny alphabets that I'm gonna use and then write down the title that I wanna use, what I have in mind. And then I'm gonna pull um, this golden bow. And yeah, I'm gonna pull these alphas right here and then write down like dreams come true. So I don't forget when I make that, that that's what I'm gonna use those for. And here I'm gonna go into my brown uh, die cuts and I pull that little label there that I can use. I like that camera. Then I'm going to pull out my gold because I do have some gold aspects going on here. Um, so I'm gonna pull a few things here. Just anything that's kind of you know standing out to me. Trying to decide, do I want all that? Is that good? Um, I do pull out my sequins and I think I'm going to um, pull some that are wood grain sequins and I'm gonna just put the whole thing in there, I think. <laughs> so yeah, those are star, they're like wood grain stars basically. So I just pulled that whole package because there's not a lot in there anyway. So I'm just gonna stick that whole thing in there, ready to go. And then uh, this one is um, the gift giving of when Josh gave me <laughs> the gift of going to see Hamilton. So uh, that's a big deal, definitely. Um, I have this little felt piece here from Not Just For Boys and it just echoes the circles perfectly. So that's gonna be great to use. And I'll just use that as a little layer somewhere. But it's a nice little echo for what I already have going on. And I am gonna look through here and see what I wanna use. And I grab this little um, ticket that says celebrate, because we were celebrating my birthday. Um, that one says I want to go to there, <laughs> which is from 30 Rock, it's pretty funny. I say that all the time, I want to go to there. Uh, so I'm gonna pull that out. And it is blue, so it is it's blue and yellow, so it does have the yellow in it, so it is bringing out a little bit of another color, which is okay. And then I went into my sticker books here and I um, am pulling a couple things. So I pulled a little banner there and then I'm just gonna 
uh, flip through these and see if there's anything else that um, sticks out to me that I maybe want to use here. These sticker books are so great. Um, it's a little harder when you're putting together page kits because you have to kind of cut them out <laughs> or take the sticky or take off the stickiness with powder if you want to do that as well. Um, these are a little bit easier just to kind of um, to just cut them out, you know, and stick them in there. But it'd be a little bit more difficult, I guess, if you have something right in the middle. But I'm making it work, so it's fine. Um, I'm searching through this just to make sure there's nothing else, but I want, I was thinking about this heart here. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't another one because it's yellow and gold, so that's perfect there. And I'm going to cut another uh, yellow heart here too. So I'll use two, two different hearts there. And then um, this one says yay, and it's yellow, so I like that. Then I grab a wood button here that the colors just go really nicely. And I don't know if I add enamel dots or not. I think I'm gonna go with sequins instead. Yeah, so these are like a matte gold sequin, so I'm gonna use those. So I just pulled that whole um, package there because there's not a lot in there as you can see. And then this one here is um, Paula Dean, her restaurant. So I'm gonna pull all these out, see what I already have. I have a couple little embellishments there ready to go. And I am going to add one of these arrows here. The colors just go nicely with it. So um, that worked out really nice. And use up those chipboard arrows. There's not that many left, so being able to use all those up in this sequence would be really nice. <laughs> and then I'm going to grab um, one of those things right here. I don't remember what that says, but the color goes really good. So, um, And then I'm going to pull a couple stickers off of this, and I'm going to put these on some wax paper because they are, you know, stickers. So um, I grab a couple that would work. I think one of them says eat the food maybe. Um, so those are travel theme stickers and they just they ended up working perfectly for it. And then um, I am searching through my orange. I uh, pulled out one little floral that has some blue in it and then I'm going through my blue as well and I find a couple more little florals that will go in it really nicely. Um, and then that one is a little recipe card, which is perfect. Uh, I won't do my journaling on it necessarily because I do have a journaling spot already, but I could definitely use it as a layer kind of peeking out somewhere, but it does say recipe on it. So that's kind of cool. And then some blue bows I thought were really cute as well. So I have those and I'm gonna look through my enamel dots and see if I have any that are gonna go really nicely. And I do, I like these here. So I'm gonna grab one of those and then that's gonna be it for this video, guys. So those are um, putting together five different pages with embellishments. I'll be back soon with another five. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you again soon. Bye.